Well, pregnancy is a joyous time, but it can also be filled with a lot of worry. Imagine having a serious heart condition, and imagine it gets worse while you are pregnant, to the point that doctors need to do surgery. It happened to a mom in New Britain, but thanks to the advanced technology at the Pat and Jim Calhoun Cardiology Center, mom is alive to tell a pretty amazing story to her baby who was on the way. 33-year-old Sameda Amagashi was used to having heart palpitations, but one night she had her scariest episode ever. Normally it will last for like three to eight minutes and then I'm back to normal. But that, it started midnight and it was like until 6.30 in the morning. Newly pregnant with baby number two, Sameda was terrified. So how scary was that? That, that was very scary because, um, as he said, the, the vivid description actually is like, you can see my heart pounding. So you can see like the chest cavity, you can see the movement. So it feels like my heart actually is like trying to get out of my body. Dr. Christopher Pickett, the co-director of the Heart Rhythm Program at the Pat and Jim Calhoun Cardiology Center, knew pregnancy was making Sameda's heart condition worse. So I uh, first met Sameda actually uh, a year or two ago before she was even pregnant because she was having uh, symptoms of palpitations, which is the abnormal sensation that your heart's beating. That a lot of people get where you just feel an extra skipped heartbeat or a clunk in your chest and that kind of thing. But Sameda's were a little bit more concerning because she was having periods where just continuously for several minutes at a time. Sameda's EKG revealed she had a dangerous condition that she was actually born with a condition called Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Uh, and that is an abnormality that uh, she was born with, her electrical system, where there's a very specific electrical system that helps the heart beat, but she had an extra wire in essence. And every now and then, in just the right circumstance, she'd get uh, electrical system and her heart would go uh, haywire a little bit. Her heart would beat over 200 beats per minute, which can be life-threatening. It seems scary that she could have had this her whole life, but you say she was born with it and didn't know it. Yeah, you're born with it, but often symptoms don't manifest until the, the late teens and early 20s. That's the common scenario. Pregnancy increases a woman's blood volume by 40%. That coupled with changing hormones meant Sameda's life and her babies were both at risk. Dr. Pickett recommended surgery right away. But using an x-ray camera in a woman who's pregnant uh, with a fetus is very challenging because you have the potential to do harm to the fetus. But in the last few years, there's been a lot of advances in the technology where we can actually do these procedures now without any radiation at all using two different systems. One is uh, an intravascular ultrasound. So we actually have a teeny tiny ultrasound that actually goes in the vein in the leg and up into the heart so we can see where we're going using that ultrasound and then a very complicated system called an electroanatomic mapping system, which is really, in essence, it's just it's sort of like a GPS inside the heart. All the technology boiled down to a miracle. So we were able to do the procedure safely and effectively without any radiation, which would have been almost impossible as recently as a few years ago. I am, I am grateful to God and I'm grateful to um, Dr. Pickett and his team that I'm here today. But it could have gone another way if I didn't take the step that I took earlier. Yeah. So I would say, please, when is your heart? I mean, any part of your body, you should be scared. But when it's your heart, you should be more scared. Yes. So you should get help as soon as possible. And, and finally, how are you feeling now that you got it all fixed? Great. <laughs> Now, Sameda wants other people suffering from heart palpitations to get help right away. It's such a common thing, especially in women, actually. It's been shown that women tend to be dismissed a little bit more easily as, oh, they feel like their heart's racing and jumping out of their chest. They're having a panic attack or anxiety. And that's what it feels like, but sometimes it really is. Your heart is almost jumping out of your chest. Sameda is excited to welcome her new baby boy to the family in May and resting a lot easier before those sleepless newborn nights arrive. That relief, it's, it's something I just can't describe. Yes. And I would want everybody who has a heart condition to have that kind of relief. You go to sleep and you're not worried about, oh, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night with a pounding heartbeat. You have that peace of mind, yeah.
I love her. I just love her. She's yeah, such and it's a sweetheart. Such an important story. So for more information, you can visit health.yukon.edu slash cardiology. All right.